Routine stop for the goaltender. The shooter's going to have to do a much better job challenging him. Nice face-off work. Two sticks together, they cancel. And he dumps it in. Goaltender comes out, and he's got the puck on that big blade. Propelled to 2-2. And he's tripped, and there'll be a penalty. Whistle blown, play stopped. The referee will hand out a penalty. Paquette's going to the box. It's a tripping minor. Chicago's got that win. Laid on to Panarin. Shoots the glove like lightning. Saskatchewan's moving the puck up the wing. Shoots it off. Oh, stick save. Dogged determination there by Seabrook. Pitching it to Kane. Oh, did he ever get mashed. He's in! Wonderful save! Grievous got it on his stick, trying to clear. And possession snapped up by Seabrook. Puck controlled by Jonathan Thames. Cleared! A lot of work, but penalty time less and less now. And the puck is seized by Taves. Nice stand-up poke check there. And fired straight up to Jokinen. Terrific open ice hit. The defense can rest. Pass attempt to Panarin. And he's hammered. Sits. A shot. Outstanding save. What magic even to get there and get the shot off. Not a lot of room to score from in that area. Great save. The Hawks starting back in their own end. He's in retreat now in his defensive zone. The Blackhawks power play had a oh, tremendous save. Denied a terrific chance. On to Taves. Tries to clear. Terrific determination by Jonathan Taves. That sounded like a car crash, guys. He's slowly gliding back to the bench. To the point with it. Big shot from the point. Hit the boat with the shot! To Jokinen. To Panarin. To Ponick. Slid to Anisimov. Didn't miss by much. You have to give yourself a chance. That puck cannot miss the net like that. Led on to Panarin. Good shooting plays. Blocked with a pad. Pitching this one to Paquette. Let's it go. Strong shooter against a strong goaltender, and the guy with a trapper won. That's two periods in the books. One more to go, but a rest comes first. Listen up, fans. For tonight only, all team jerseys are 15% off regular price. With the presentation of the Hawks have a one goal lead. This is the one that did it for them as the teams are in the locker rooms and we're about to sell some. Third period about to begin. The rear view mirror will help us with the first two and so will Edson. Chicago's got to feel lucky Doc, to still be in this game with 20 minutes or more to go. Offensively, one fortunate bounce, they're back in this game. But in order to do that, they need to be way better in their defensive zone. Snapping a pass to Gagne. Knocked right off the stick. The Hawks look to make a difference up the wing. Taken away. Looking to Seabrook. Good job with the poke check. Into the end of attack. Good play. Perfect save. And another save. These saves are all about positioning. Save. Lots of pressure coming from the offensive team, Doc. Pressure mounting here. He scores. Two in a row. You always have to know where the puck is on the ice. Be ready. And he one-timed it in. I don't know what he's going to do with that one, Enzo. That thing is delivered to perfection. The 
Hawks have struck for another goal. They build a two-goal lead here early in the third period. All of hockey life is timing, and theirs is terrific. Gains the zone. Loose buck taken by Desjardins. And at an angle to Keith. Terrific score! And it's a one-goal game. so far up here, Doc. I'm not sure if that puck got deflected. Let's go down the ray and see what he saw at ice level. Not only was the puck deflected, Enzo, it's through traffic as well. You're going to see on the replay that the goaltender's fighting A, the traffic. He's got to get into position for it. Right when he thinks he's got the puck at him, the puck changes directions. He just can't catch up. A good tie-up on the faceoff. That led to his team getting the puck. Oh, and he missed the net. That's going to happen. There's not a lot of room there. He just missed the shot. Possession once again by Jokic. Jabbed away by Campbell. Directing that one to Desjardins. Good poke check by Jokic. Hammered. Oh, big rebound here. Grossman's got to shovel it out of there. And let's hear again from Ray. Kennedy's an excellent skater, and he's used it to his advantage as he's got in on the forecheck, been extremely physical offensively, and really stout defensively. He is fun to watch, isn't he, Ray? We'll do more of that now. Tied up, but a good reach and a good step in there for possession. And now it's directed to Ponick. And it's a good pickup. The Hawks are starting back in the defensive zone. Onside. Chicago's back in its own end, trying to work forward. Possession re-established by Hosa. Hope checked away by Semin. In all alone, they score! Semin's quick read of the plate allowed him to get that breakaway and score. Crawford's looking around behind him. He can't believe that there's any opening. He was in the butterfly, thought he had most of the net covered, but not enough of it. And they've won the neutral zone faceoff. You win that, and you don't have to chase. They chase you. Puck picked up here. Kicked out of the scrum. Shifts to the backhand and shoots. Puck is thrown to Hosa. Gains the zone. Has it picked up. Slides it to the point to Roosevelt. Saskatchewan's moving it up the wing. Shoots. Great glove save. What a glove save. He showed him the glove and he took it away. Crawford's going to have to be sharp if they keep giving up man advantage breaks. Another good stop. Just over seven minutes to go in the period. The Hawks just added some insurance to make this a two-goal lead. Moving it to Hinestroza. The Hawks wheel one ahead up the wing. And that one's chopped away. Oh, and the pass wouldn't go. Possession seized by Gagne. Passing one off now to Hinestroza. That's a good solid poke check. It's an onside play. Step what a reaction save. Terrific stop from right in front of the net, but you've got to find a way to put the puck in the net. And a whistle. They win the draw. Let's see if it pays off. Hammers it. Gathered up again by Zebra. Trying to go to Kane. Oh, and he is corked yet again. 
their own end, skating with it. Saskatchewan's in possession in neutral ice. Cranks a shot, blocked away. Delayed penalty call. And in their own end, hanging on to it. The Blackhawks want to generate something up the wing. Chicago's taking advantage of the delayed call. The goalie is off. Play is stopped. There is a signal. We just wanted to see who it is he's taking off. The Hawks will get a two-minute penalty for elbowing. Oh, that penalty's got to hurt with the way the equipment is made today. Chicago's power play has not been a shambles. It's been very good here, and it gets another chance. A big win. Let's see what happens. Puck out of play over the glass, so another face-off coming up. Because they can't play it where it went. Down to ringside we go yet again. Ray, what you thinking? Chicago's got to get back on the practice ice because they've had so many chances to score. They haven't had any finish, and they can't hit the net. I don't know if you believe in omens, Ray. Maybe they do, that maybe it's got to turn around before the game ends. We are in the 60th minute out of 60. The Blackhawks with possession in the defensive zone. Speared along by Jackman. Oh, it's very important if he can get that out. Terrific opportunity, but it's off the mark. Oh, he shot. Blockered away. Goalie pulled, net empty. Extra man is out. Puck gathered in by Zebra. A ripper from the point. What a shot. It's blocked. The clock shows 24. Saskatchewan's net empty. Score! That's his first playoff goal. That one should put the icing on the cake. Sayonara, that pretty well puts this one away. The Blackhawks win that neutral zone faceoff. Shoots. They can't find the target. You know what, Doc? I can see why he missed it. If there was nothing there, he tried to be too fine. Only a few seconds to go here, and they will have crossed round three. The end of the game, the end of the series, but more ahead for the winners. A bitter end to a season that held such promise. There is nothing to do now but rest and heal and come back again in the fall. It is a most noble part of a collision sport, an exhausting series of games. Handshakes replace all the adrenaline from the last hours. Named for the longtime president of the NHL is the Clarence Campbell Bowl, and it goes to the Western Conference team that has its sights set on a Stanley Cup next time. But will they touch this one or not? That's always the question. No time like playoff time. See you next time. Good night, all.